How we doing, French Bully Gang? This is OJ from JJK9 French Bullies. Just wanted to check in, talk with you guys a little bit about the dogs and just about life in general. So, took Harley for her fourth pedestrian test today and um, got some good news. She's at what we call a 6.5. That means that she's in that right range for um, breeding now. So I'm gonna take her tomorrow. Matter of fact, let me change that. My wife is gonna take her to the vet tomorrow and the owner of the stud is gonna bring the stud tomorrow to meet my wife so we can do the first insemination. Then after that, we're going to do a second insemination on Friday. So I'm gonna do it the uh, Thursday, we're gonna do it again Friday. And then we're gonna see if it takes. If it takes, hopefully 63 days after that, we'll be producing some fire ass puppies, okay? So we're gonna see what happens with that. Um, I'm gonna be kind of jumping all over every place and stuff, cause it's just a couple of things that I wanna um, talk about that uh, that's been kind of weighing on me. And um, I've actually went and talked with my, my pastor about it and uh, talked with my wife and a few other people about it. And it seems like it's finally coming to a partial end. Let me explain to you what I'm talking about. Okay, so I work at a particular job here in Illinois and um, I ran across um, some racial discrimination at my job. Um, I was dealing with a manager who um, started throwing racial slurs, calling me boy, and a few other things. Took everything in me not to react the way that I know a lot of you guys out there felt I should have reacted. But the thing you have to understand, I work in a predominantly white area and um, Let's say I was to react the way that a lot of you guys out there said I should have reacted. Do you know in the temperament that that's going on today, the temperature of race in the America today, me being in a white neighborhood and the police getting called on me, who do you think they're gonna side with first? They're gonna side with, obviously, the owners of the business who wasn't even around, but I'm quite sure once they get involved, they were gonna say, oh, it had to be the black guy. Well, that's the first thing the police are gonna think when they approach, they gonna think it's the black guy's fault. Not knowing that, you know, the the Caucasian was the one that initiated the, initiated this stuff. So, um, yeah, I've been dealing with that. So, I did get some good news today is, uh, I guess they ended up firing the guy. They're gonna say that it was probably, um, I guess it's called workplace reduction. I think they basically, what's that old saying? They closed the gate after the horses all got out. It's like now you wanna do something about it, but they're doing it under the guise of workplace reduction. I don't care how they did it. It took them almost a year to get rid of this individual. And this individual has gotten into it with multiple people at my place of employment. He basically only got into it with minorities, you know? Uh, blacks, Mexicans, um, people not from this country. And I just couldn't understand why this was allowed to go on. It just, for some reason, it just boggled the mind that they would let this individual still work there. But I'm guessing maybe they were waiting for a legal way of getting rid of the individual and putting it under the guise of workplace reduction, if that's what you want to call it. That's the new phrase that I'm hearing now. I haven't heard that phrase in a while, but if it works for them, it works for them. So that's kind of some of the stuff that's been going on in my life. I just don't understand why we are in the 
why everybody in this world just can't live and get along with each other? Why has everybody got to be hating on each other and stuff? Uh, I was looking at a video from one of the other YouTubers that I admire younger guy than me. That probably sounds kind of crazy about me being older, but I admire the younger guy because he seems like he listens to his dad and he has a lot of his dad in him because he talks for a lot of sense. Um, I just don't understand why people need to feel that they want to be superior to other people. People think that, I, I don't know, I think this, must think this back in slavery days or something where you own a black person, that that's dead, that ain't even happening no more. I just don't understand it. It's, as you can tell probably that I like to say other things on the video, but I can't say the things that you guys are probably out there thinking. I'm, I am the type of person that I will speak my mind. And if someone has something to say to me, believe me, I have no problem saying it back to them. I respect you if you respect me, you don't respect me, I don't respect you. That's just pretty much how it works out. I don't care what color you are. You can be black, white, purple, pink, whatever color you wanna be. Um, if you want respect, you gotta get respect. That's just the way I feel about it. Um, I wanna move on to other things. I may drift, like I said, I'm gonna probably drift around talking about different subjects and stuff. But I just thought that was just something that I really wanted to get off my chest and put it out there, let you guys know that, you know, I know that you guys are still out there in the world working as myself and I'm trying to do the YouTube thing, but I'm gonna let you guys know that, you know, I can't go out and just do YouTube 24 seven. I have to work a job. I'm doing a dog breeding thing and stuff. So I have a couple of fire, I mean, a couple of irons in the fire as you, as um, my mom would say. So I'm doing a lot of different things. If you hear a lot of that, um, if you hear stuff in my background, that's my two dogs. They out, they're down there playing and stuff. And, uh, I guess they're keeping their self entertained. But anyway, as I said before, Carly's gonna be going for her um, first dissemination tomorrow, second one Friday. Um, I don't know when this video is gonna drop because I always have my guy edit it. So it's usually gonna drop maybe a day or two after um, the video, after I do the video. Um, what else I wanna say? Zeus, Zeus is gonna be my stud. I'm gonna go and take him next to my vet and see when will he be I guess available for stud service. He's a really good looking dog, really good looking dog. He's a try. Uh, I'm going to probably put a picture of him up and stuff so you guys can see what's going on with him. As a matter of fact, I'm probably gonna switch to them in a minute just to show you what I have here as far as the stud and as far as gonna have it as my puppies are gonna be. I'm figuring everything works out. Probably sometime was that January, February, mm, excuse me, maybe in March, I should have some puppies. And then I'm gonna start taking deposits on them. I don't know how many puppies I'm gonna have, so I guess I'll have to wait and see. But I know for a fact, I'm probably gonna keep at least two of them. At least two of them, and hopefully if I get a multitude of them, you know, anywhere between five or six, if I get something like that, I'm gonna keep two of them. If I only get one or two, I guess I'll keep the, I'll keep both of them. It just depends on what she decides to give me. Those two, they down there going at it right now. Not in a bad way, they just playing with each other and stuff. So I just wanted to let you guys know that I have had some things on my mind and I just wanted to get them off and let you guys know. Um, I understand the problems that a lot of you guys out there are dealing with out there in the world and everybody's dealing with those same problems and stuff. So it's nothing that you can do about it. It's just the way that you react to it because you can react to it and get yourself in trouble, get yourself locked up and the way things are nowadays, you're a person of color, you assume guilty until proven innocent. 
So I'm just saying, just watch yourself. There's a lot of situations out there where you can sit up here and you could be 100% in the right, but some people ain't trying to hear that. All they all they doing is seeing your skin color. Hey, there's a lot of people out there that's supposed to be in law enforcement that's supposed to not see color. Don't believe that. I know you guys are smarter than that. Those people, they see color, they see him, that you're African American and they not, and they think they superior to you. So don't get caught up in that uh, mess and stuff. If the police approach you, just cooperate with them. Only reason being is because you're gonna be on a losing end regardless. If you don't cooperate, you're gonna be on a losing end. What you do is if they do something that's bogus and stuff, everybody got cameras now. Make sure you tape it. Anything you have an encounter, anytime you have an encounter with them, make sure you're taping because it's gonna be your word against theirs and they're gonna side with them, you know? Um, that's just a bit of advice for you guys out there. Make sure you're watching out for yourselves. Go ahead and educate yourself because when you educate yourself and you know what's going on, then I guess it's kind of hard for people to get over on you, but you have to still um, know what you're talking about. Me, myself, I'm not the most smartest person, which I don't think a lot of people are out here the smartest person, but you want to make sure you surround yourself with people that, that are smart. So I guess what I'm saying is, um, like I'm not smart about law. So guess what? If I need something like a contract or something put together, I go and get in contact with a lawyer. Um, I think I take care of myself the best I can, but guess what? They got these people out here called doctors. I go to my doctor, I talk to my doctor. He puts me on whatever medication he feels I need to be on. I take his advice because he knows better than me, or well, supposed to know better than me. He went to medical school, got all these degrees and stuff, so I kind of ask questions. I don't just take what he says and just run with it. I have to ask questions about, okay, well, what is this medication for? What is this for? What is that for? You only um, take an interest in your own health, so you should like ask questions and stuff. Whenever you're doing anything, ask questions about it because guess what? You only got one life to live and I have my own saying, you only got one life to live. When it's time to die, you can only die for you. You cannot die for, um, you cannot die, nobody else can die for you. That's what I'm saying. I'm not trying to sound all dark and stuff, but you gotta be responsible for your, your actions and stuff and things that's going on with your life. You can't just sit up there and think somebody else can um, take the blame for you because guess what? When it's time for you to meet your maker, you got to account for the things that you did in this life um, to him or her, whoever our God is, or if you believe in God. So anyway, I'm going to take a break. This is OJ from JJK9 French Bullies signing off.